Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're going to do a quick and dirty video about a quick and dirty tool. Basically, we're looking at a sprite sheet creation tool. It runs in your browser. It's completely free. And basically, it is for making texture atlases. What is a texture atlas? Well, it is pretty much a bunch of textures combined together into a single image. Uh, the reason you do this is it's much more um, performance-based. Uh, GPUs like dealing with a single draw, uh, even if you're doing you know, sub-draws, as opposed to a bunch of different files being loaded. Texture binds are expensive even on modern GPUs. So putting all of your sprites together into a sheet or as few sheets as possible is a very efficient use of resources. Now it's very common for uh, game engines to support this. Basically what it is is an image and then a description of where your different images within that image are stored. So without further ado, let's jump on it and take a look at it. Now as I mentioned earlier, the Leshy tool is entirely browser based. It is available at leshylabs.com for forward slash apps forward slash SS tool. I will link that down below. And essentially, um, you can see one in effect here. We'll go ahead and create one from scratch. You just go to this website and you bring in the images you wish to use. So for example, I have several sprites uh, from 2dgameart.com. Uh, you can see right here. And I want to bring in this run animation, so I want this guy, I could dump them all in at once, but this gives me fine-tuned control over the order they're in. So see that sprite automatically showed up? Well now I'll bring in my next frame in the sequence, and then my next frame, and my next frame, and so on and so forth until I have all of my frames of animation. You're seeing it's automatically resizing the generated uh, result as more options are added. So see, we've used up three columns and so on. So I now need another column and poof, it automatically comes in. And you know what? 95% of our work is now complete. We've got a couple of options here. We can change the amount of padding that happens between each uh, space. Uh, repack, we can optimize the results by clicking there. It will go through and there's not a lot it can do here because basically every single one of our um, textures that we put into this particular atlas were the same size. So it doesn't really have anything to optimize, but the option is there. So if you put in a bunch of different sized um, images into your atlas, uh, optimize will obviously have a lot more effect because it will fill the available canvas space as best as possible. Uh, you got a couple of other options. You can do an outline around each individual um, cell. You can label to show the, if I zoom in using the mouse button, you'll see what actual uh, frame is there. Uh, we can set up for a checkered background or we can do a background color. Uh, and essentially we are done. You come on down here, you can see a preview of your various different sprites in action. You can see here the name. The name is going to be the index within the atlas that is generated. And then when you are done, you can just go ahead and save out your file as a PNG. And in some cases, all you're going to need is the PNG file. You don't even need the, um, the mapping file that goes with it. It depends on your game engine. Um, so you go ahead and save that somewhere. I'll save this to my desktop so I can grab it in a second. All right, so that is our Atlas saved out. Now I mentioned earlier, you can also create that texture Atlas, the, the, the index or description file that goes with it. It's down here, for example, and we can switch between different types. Uh, so I'm gonna close down that. So you see here, we've got a choice between text, JSON, CSS, JSON dash TP hashed and array. TP stands for texture packer format. Um, and it is supported by a number of game engines out there. For example, if you're gonna create your game for phaser, what you probably wanna do is export as JSON texture packer array. And we'll go ahead and do that. You can see there is the JSON file that will be generated. There's the actual code. And we can go ahead and save that guy out as well. So save that guy out to our desktop sprites.json and now we have these files that are ready to use or consume in our game engine of choice and let's go take a look so we have our json file and our sprite sheet file our sprite sheet that was generated simple image um, all the different frames together and the json file that goes with it uh, you see right there is very simple, straightforward JSON code, which basically goes, gives the X and Y width and height, um, if it's rotated or not, which would have been done part of the optimization technique. Um, and then of course the uh, frame name, etc. And then you can now consume this in your game engine. And a lot of game engines will have support for, um, you know, basically I could say, create me an animation called run. 
and it will automatically go through and figure out all the different frames called run. And then we can just play that animation. So again, Jason, um, the um, Phaser game engine is a very good example uh, of where you can use these and consume these Atlas files directly. Uh, but again, a number of game engines actually support various different formats. Or you can go ahead and just use this guy and do all of your sprite code index based. Um, you know, choices up to you. Now, I mentioned earlier about Texture Packer. Now, Texture Packer is a commercial package, costs about 50 bucks, and it does pretty much the exact same thing, just with a load more options, a load more um, tools available, um, different file formats, etc. So, if you're needing to move beyond the Leshy Sprite tools, the free tools here, um, there is Texture Packer, which is a standalone application you run on, you know, your Windows or Mac machine and run it there. And I will link a video. I covered it in the past. I will link that video down below. So if you need to do uh, Texture Atlases and you're finding that the Leshy tools are not enough for you, do check out uh, Texture Packer. Between the two, you will definitely get things sorted. All right, like I said, quick, easy, dirty video for today. Just kind of showing you a tool, a tool that's very purpose built. It does exactly what it sets out to do. It does it in an easy way. And those kind of tools are actually kind of perfect to add to your tool belt. You know, you build up your little Swiss Army knife of tools over time, and you're going to find game development gets a heck of a lot easier. Uh, so, Leshy Sprite tool, completely free, browser based, uh, texture atlas creator. Definitely something worth checking out if you need this in the future. Uh, probably about the easiest way to do this stuff. Um, and that's about it. If you enjoyed that, please do, of course, click like. And we cover all kinds of game development stuff, tools, technologies, uh, tutorials, news, you name it. If that sounds good to you. Hit that subscribe button, and hopefully you'll find stuff here to love. All right, I will see you all later. 